Hi, I'm Austin Soderquist, and I am so excited to be with you again right now because I have something that's really important to share with you. There's a problem that I've been seeing going around in some of the conversations I've had over the last week, week and a half, talking with uh, young people and, and just people in general. And I've actually had this problem myself, and you might recognize that you've had this. So laws, rules, do you like rules? Do you like it when having laws, the speed limit? When you're driving and you're gonna be late to that appointment, don't you just love that there's a speed limit there? That there's that rule that you just have to go that certain speed even when you're gonna be late, right? You love rules, you love laws, right? I see a lot of people that, uh, they're not loving the rules. They're not loving the laws. And what it really is, is there's a lack of understanding of what why we have rules, why we have laws. There's a lot of people, they want freedom. They just say, I want to be free. I want to be able to do whatever I want to do. Stop telling me what to do because I just want to do what I want to do. Okay? Rules. I don't need any rules. I'm, I'm okay. I can take care of myself. You've probably heard this. You may have felt that yourself. The truth is there's no freedom without rules. You can't have freedom if you don't have laws and rules which allow that to happen. Think about the road. If there were no laws or rules for driving, would you get places more quickly? There'd be no rule that says to drive on the right side of the lane. There'd be no rule that says, you know, stop at a red light. So it would be chaos. It would be chaos without rules. So because of the rules, it allows us the freedom. It allows things to go more quickly, more efficiently thanks to rules. And so as we understand that, as we learn to, to realize that laws and rules are there to provide us freedom and to allow us to succeed, then we can be more grateful for those rules. I'm sure you've heard of the, the story about the kite, the analogy with the kite. Because you've got the kite that's flying up high in the sky, it's windy and the kite's just going there and the little boy says, Dad, the, the string is holding the kite down. Why don't we cut the string and just let the kite go free? What happens if you cut the string? Does the kite just fly up and just keep going? Nope. You cut that string, the, the kite comes falling down. Because that, that string is its rule, the laws, that allow it to float. Same thing. You can't plant a seed in a bucket of concrete and expect it to grow. Now the seed's got to be in, in soil with nutrients. There's laws of nature, laws of the universe. And so that's what it is. So as you're, as you're going through life and as you hear people talking about, oh, I hate laws, I hate rules, maybe you can just pipe up and say, hey, I'm grateful for laws. I'm grateful for rules. Because it's those laws and those rules that allow me to be free. And I know that to be true. So thank you for being here with me. My name's Austin Soderquist. And as you go throughout your day, Remember to be grateful for laws and rules.